Groga Day 689. with the filter I realized that all too late I already, you know I whatever I have a little bit of a filtery coffee today supposedly can I taste it supposedly if you don't wet the filter you can taste it like you got to kind of wash the papery taste out of it before you use it uh, I, I don't know and now I'm just gonna start imagining I can taste things it's Tuesday and I'm flying to the coast today and I feel fancy because I can make my own coffee before I go it's both money and saving and time saving at least theoretically so let's go I just had a really nice feeling, which is that I'm getting familiar with the terminals. And that's a bad feeling when you're traveling for business all the time in places you don't want to be, but it's a good feeling in Paris. I like it. Feels like this is my home airport now. Hope that continues. Anyways, uh, you know, boarding in like 20 or something like that. That was really easy. Nobody in line today. On we go. Pushan's waiting and it's raining down there as much as it's raining here, which is a lot. <laughs> I'm really missing my Bluetooth earbuds right about now. They're so nice for so many reasons. Like you can still listen to your music when you're taking time lapses. Don't have to worry about cables when you're walking, moving stuff, whatever. Anyways, one of the things that I'm looking forward to about my next trip, I'm going to the States in like a week, is that electronics in the States are significantly cheaper and uh, I definitely need to replace my wired earbuds. I don't know if you've seen them, but they are literally melting to the point that Bose agreed to take them back from me at a discount for an upgrade to this, like the newest model of the same thing, but I, I just wasn't really ready for that back then. I'm ready for it now. Uh, and then also I want to get some something wireless again because it makes filming, it makes my life just so much better. So Karin, sorry I lost the earbuds you gave me. They were amazing while I had them and they just said I need more. Anyways, just waiting for my flight to board. I gotta go probably get into the Cattle Corral, also known as the EasyJet Embarkment Line, Embarkation Line, Embarkement, Franglais, and uh, yeah, let's go to Sunny Biritz, which is apparently not sunny at all. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à Biarritz, exactement. It's not raining that bad. Yeah, yeah. Let's find Pushan. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's what I came to Biarritz for. How are you doing? Smell the sea. You probably hear too much wind. Pushan brought me to the ocean to give me a really unique dining experience known as McDonald's. It's this new Scottish place that just opened up. Really excited. Yeah, where are we going, by the way? Poorly when you're eating with Pushan. Like it? <laughs> yeah. So this is um, white fish made with Spanish sauce, so basically a lot of garlic. Can't go wrong with garlic. I told them I wanted garlic. This turned out very, very well. A 
little post-lunch seaside walk here. Very romantic. Look at all the surfers out here waiting for waves. They're not nearly as far out as I'd expect, actually. started raining we got just we got done just in time before the seagulls attacked as well so now we're gonna go get coffee at a local place here getting the whole like um basque experience although the, it's like the modern basque experience one of the things Bouchon was telling me was that everybody here and like our generation is actually trying to take things back to the way that they were like going back to basque culture basque food Gee, so, what kind of coffee are they going for Bouchon? so is it, apparently it's I don't know where the coffee beans are from, but it's the it's the Basque roast and the Basque way of making it. Interesting. So let's let's go see. Let's go hang out with these oh, guys. Give it a try. Let's give it a try. Hopefully they're best. Yeah, don't leave the keys in there. Well, while Pouchon gets the keys out of the car, this is uh, La Torref, which is a spot that we saw on the way in, but apparently is fairly new. And uh, we'll try the coffee here in a second. I'm just going to go inside. That was tasty. Don't know why I'm already yawning. We had, what did we have for coffee? We had a light roast in a Chemex, but what was, where was it from? Do you remember? Ethiopia. It was Ethiopian. Okay, yeah, we had an Ethiopian. It was a nice light roast. The brownie was tasty. Still not what I'm looking for in a brownie. The problem is that I'm basically looking for the gooey box brownie effect more than anything. It makes me kind of a Philistine, but it's true. Anyways, it was good. We're going to go back, edit a little bit, and then we'll go out for dinner tonight, try some tapas. And then tomorrow, it sounds like we might be going to Espana, which would be fun. Don't drink and drive. Quick stop for a magazine. Street food of the Southwest. That's the only thing I can do with this brace on, actually. <laughs> it's thumbs up. That's about as far as you can go. It's a, it's a brace from punching people too much in recent history. And uh, then we're going to go get some work done before going out to dinner, which sounds great. I've, I'm still hungry. I've, I've yet to actually feel full yet today. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, and give you a tour of the Airbnb later. We've just been working for a little bit. He got some stuff done. I got a lot of editing done, which is good. We're gonna wander around. The tapas is off the table apparently because it's closed. Tapas and uh, for today, I think we're also not going to Spain after all because we're just gonna try and capitalize on the time here. There's a chance that I'll come back and visit Pushan in a couple of months and then we'll do Spain. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna try and focus on Biritz. What is it? What do we call it? This is Bab. He said B A B. Biritz, Angets, and B.A.B. B.A.B. Anyways, this is like the tri-cities of the south of France, so uh, we're just going to try and capitalize on that. And we're staying like right downtown. I'll give you a tour of the Airbnb later, but we need to go while we have sunshine because the sun finally came out. <laughs> Time for dinner. Well, I think we're going for a wander first, right? And then we're going to dinner? Yep. Quick walk. Enjoy the sun, take some photos. Wish that I had my drone with me, but can't fly it anyways because we're in town and then we'll see what we do for dinner. What do you really think about Much it? Much better now that there's salt on it, actually. It's, it, it's pretty tasty. Bouchon is giving me a hard time for not giving like my fullest emotion to my food shots. It's actually because I'm worried that people are going to get upset if I don't like it. Or 
you know, it's rare that it's actually so good that I'm like, oh my god. So, anyways, that's a little side commentary. Dinner is good though. How do you like yours, Prashan? Good enough that you're chewing it. Yeah, I'll give it a six out of ten. You know, I'm not gonna say it's great. It's not bad. Got some meat, got some sauce, but you know, it's more the the atmosphere, the ambience, the nice like sunset. Well, you, we miss it, but you'll see you'll see the footage from before. Um, so it's pretty good. Good wine. Okay, food. Not as you know, not spectacular, but I think the company's better. So. I'll take that. It is really dry, actually. I'm surprised that he was that bluntly honest. Apparently, I need to take lessons from him. <laughs> that, was, that was to show you the way, yeah. to be honest. Maybe I was too honest, so I'll give it a 6.5. <laughs>